I never have to repeat myself. Okay, today I come to help the people you have been visiting, but they fear you, so they want to tell you these things. So I'm here to help them break the silence. Uh, you, you can also use this video in future as an audio. Uh, so whenever you're going to visit, you go listening so that on the way you keep organizing yourself. These are the tips on how to be a good guest. One, unless you are Santa Claus, don't show up unannounced. Even Santa Claus doesn't just come in like September. Then you, Jackie, empty-handed. When entering someone's house, it is nice to take off your shoes, but bring them inside. Because some of us, we have enemies among our neighbors. We don't want them to laugh at us because of your shoes that are emphasizing how enemies you get. If you find people in a conversation, wait to contribute. You just sit somewhere and wait for them to speak to you. Don't contribute. <laughs> then you came to borrow money. Now you've caused an argument. Now they don't like you anymore because you're trying to give an opinion. You have nothing to give. You came to take. Stick to the plan. Watch the comments you make on the kids. I mean, you've just walked in, and they're supposed to be at school. Are you Minister of Education? And, and some of you comment on the size of the kids. And like, if you've not prepared a conversation, you keep quiet. Don't put pressure on yourself. If the kids are big, keep quiet. If the kids are small, keep quiet. Don't tour the house before they take you around, Madam Inspector of Homes. The issue of how much do you pay here? How much do you guys pay for rent? How much, how much is... First of all, you don't have apartments that you're here to benchmark so that you can go and see if you can increase for your tenants. Two, you are not the rent regulatory authority. Three, if my rent is high, you won't get me a discount. You won't stop at, hey, and calling my landlord a thief. Four, all the times you've asked that question, you've never moved in in the neighborhood. Okay, some of you even get to the point of even starting to ask how much we bought everything in the house. It is at the same price at the shop. You go and ask. Fit in. Fit in. Show that you're enjoying yourself. Make sure that before you complain, you've said the words, Wow, I'm so lucky to be here several times. Then you can say, You guys don't have TP. Otherwise, you had a choice to be at your house, but here you are. If they ask if you'll eat, say no. And hope they ask again. To which you again say no. And hope they force you. Threats on your life. That's when you say, I'll have something small. Don't ask off things you brought for the host. For example, they might serve you porridge that doesn't have sugar. And you're like, I'm Kevin Biende Samuel Muscal. Use the outside toilet. I can't stress this enough. Guard your image with your life. How people remember you should be key. What memory have you left behind? People who take things whenever you visit. You threat to human existence. You give guests a bad name. Some of you do it too much. Now when you visit the hostels, <laughs> let me come greet you from outside. Hey, you're the kind version of a thief. Actually, thieves should borrow your idea so that they're like, no, let us not break in. Let us go visiting as friends and borrow the TV. People who overstay. By the way, unless the person you're visiting is your parent, the maximum number of meals you should have is two. But you, you're visiting for one day, but you've had breakfast, fruits, lunch, evening tea, supper, midnight snack. You're abusing your status. And, and if you're planning to stay for days, remember that house guests and fish have one thing in common. Both start to smell after two days. Team pack for me. Do you have a small dish? How can I pack? Can I, I want to just pack this something small. How can I pack this somewhere? I, I'm packing this for my dogs. You have no dogs. Dog is you. If you ever find yourself about to say, if you guys want to sleep, tell me and I leave. Don't say it. Just leave. Finally, check that you have all your belongings before you leave. Let me say that again. Take your stuff. This business of forgetting things behind. Take your stuff. And, and some of you, the things you leave behind leave more questions than answers. Take your things. And that is both living and non-living things. <laughs> 